Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matano and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your ATM robberies and bank cards control supported mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So make sure you guys download and install all the latest requirements that's in some of the description below. Once you guys have completed that process, then I will leave this mod in some of my description below too. So make sure you guys do download this mod as well. Before we do get straight into installing the mods, just to let you guys know that we are going to start this mod inside a clean GTA V folder because I've been getting so many messages on my YouTube video, people is having problems installing this mod. So we are going to start this mod inside a clean GTA V folder. So what we're going to do, okay, all you guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it, right click and open file location. Now just to let you guys know that this is a complete clean folder except that I added the mods folder up here so yeah this is a complete clean folder guys. So all you guys got to do okay is that we are going to install our requirements. So make sure you guys got the latest requirements. Open up your script hook v extract folder Go into your bin folder and select dinput8.dll and scripthookv.dll and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up, just replace both files. And then that's it. Now quit out of there, quit out of there. Now open up your scripthookv.net extract folder and then select scripthookv.net.asi .dll, .pdb and .xml then drag them all inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now this is optional you guys can do this but it is important to have these mods we are going to install our trainers so open up your trainer v extract folder and then select trainer v.asi and .ini and drag them both inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now open up your Menu Extract folder and now select Menu Stuff folder and Menu.asi and then drag them both inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Right click and then refresh your folder then right click again and create a new folder and name that folder Scripts. Make sure you guys do spell scripts right because sometimes people don't put an S at the end. So make sure you put an S at the end and press enter once and press enter again and you will be redirected to your scripts folder. Now guys this is really 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 important okay. A lot of people has been having trouble with this part okay. Now open up your rob bank and atm extract folder inside that folder there will be two files a readme.txt and scripts folder okay open up your scripts folder and then all you guys got to do is select all the files that's inside the extract scripts folder and then drag it inside your grand theft auto v scripts folder then now exit out of the extract folder now guys inside my description inside my downloads there will be a native ui.dll version 1.8 okay guys so go and download that inside my downloads there will be a native ui.dll version 1.8 that is really important to make this mod work okay so we are going to go and do 1.8 now all you guys got to do okay once you guys download the native ui version 
open up the extract folder and there will be a native UI.dll file on there just select it and then drag it into your scripts folder and uh, it will say replace it just say yes because this native UI is a really old version this one over here is version 1.0 so make sure you guys do have 1.8 inside the folder so yes guys all you guys got to do next okay is go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh a folder exit out of your game folder and right click and refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and we are back again guys so we are here with Franklin now just to let you guys know okay is that you will be teleported to North Yankton but only for two seconds and then you will be teleported back now we are going to do some robberies okay to test this mod but maybe only one because I do not want the video to be long for you guys okay so just to let you guys know too if you do get a notification on your left hand side down the bottom it will say loaded bank ATM robbery mod successfully if you guys do get this then you have installed the mod properly and North Yankton is on so you can rob the bank in North Yankton as well so what we are going to do guys is that we are going to go and rob a bank and um, I'm going to choose which bank I'm going to rob I'm going to choose this one over here and now just to let you guys know too I forgot to mention I do have God mode on the reason why I'm using God mode is because I do not want to try and fight the cops and it's going to be hard for me to do the video so I just want to do the mission fast okay so all you guys got to do okay is just go to the destination on where you want to go to rob okay I'm choosing this one over here because it's much easier so all you guys got to do is just go inside the bank okay do whatever you want okay you can, you can kill the pit you know the people but you'll get wanted just come through here come walking over here now this is where you get wanted because you need to blow up the vaults but guys there is a glitch here okay um, the glitch is that you can't blow up the vault so the only way to get inside the vault is to teleport forward okay so on your keys okay on your keyboard guys next to your enter key just press that key I don't know what is that key but see guys see I teleport it forward so what we are going to do is that we're just going to take out these guys okay and just take them, take them out, just take them all out. There, now just teleport forward. And there you go. Take this guy out. And then now press G. Now just wait for a few seconds. This one pop up. And then wait for a few seconds again. And there you go. Now let's get out of here. Now what you guys have to do is go inside our safe house, okay? So we have to go in a safe house. But for the video's sake, I do not want to go too long. Uh, I'm going to go over here where is the safe house. So what you guys got to do, okay, is that you have to take the money to the safe house, okay? So the safe house is over here or over here you guys can go over here um yeah there's safe house everywhere there or there you guys can go anywhere you want okay but i'm going to go over here because it's much easier and then go to your safe house guys and then there you go and then press g and then that's it and now the heist is now completed so yeah guys that is how you guys do the mission uh, you got to lose the cops okay but guys try and do this without using god mode because it does get boring if you guys use god mode okay so try and do it without god mode because it does get really exciting so 
the reason why I'm using Gone Lane because it's just that I'm doing the video, that's why I'm saying so, yeah. But that's how you guys do the robbery, okay? We will do the ATM machine robbery, but I do not want to make the video too long. So yeah guys, that is how you do it. Um that's how you install the mod and that's how you you rob the bank. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. And we are back again guys, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod because I do. Not only that guys, but if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments. If you guys do get stuck on other mods, then please let me know. I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. And if you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comments and I will answer you guys' questions. But with that I said guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. And just to let you guys know that the most important thing you gotta do and you got to remember is that this mod only works on version 1.8 native UI.dll. So make sure you guys do download native UI.dll version 1.8 inside my downloads inside my description below. So make sure you guys do that. So with that I said, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, then smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.